In this chapter, we are going to go back and revisit the data set fields or the XMD file briefly. So as a reminder, every data set has its own XMD file or sometimes you might hear folks referring to it even as a user XMD because the user uh, modifies or defines it. Now it is done through the UI, through the fields. If you recall, when you explore a lens, um, if you have the permission, edit data flow or manage analytics, you, will, you are going to see fields in lens, okay? Not in dashboard, the steps, that's different. Here you will be able to specify default fields, rename labels, uh, specify colors for certain values. You can actually uh, specify for derived measures as you start uh, using SACL later on and creating derived measures. You can actually specify the format here um, or for the existing measures from a custom format or currencies, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, just a tip, if you have a compare table derived measure, so you create something in a, in a compare table where you have the drop down to specify one of the four formats. If you bring that name here, for example, we created POP. If you create POP here and you specify a format, right now the format of the compare table will override this. So that is the one particular use case to keep in mind. And other than that, just keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on the, this file. This file is important uh, when you are migrating data sets, so you can do it automatically through change sets, for example, but this is still needed to download uh, the file and then pick it up in the new one or upload it in the new uh, destination. That's pretty much it for the XMD. Uh, also, always check the documentation and the release notes if there's anything new. Uh, so you just kind of update your procedures or how you are handling the XMD file itself.